Go ahead. Haynes, I know this has to be brutal for you. You fought like heck to get back this season just to play. And, and just, this was the best version of yourself since early in the season. Just how mm -hmm. was this game? And like, what is your emotional state right now? You know, it's definitely tough. Uh, but right now, my emotional state is just, uh, I'm just kind of tired of feeling like this. I'm tired of always, you know, playing your heart out, doing all this to the last play and, and just always coming up short. I'm just just tired of feeling that way right now. Chad? Kyle, can you tell us about the defensive game plan tonight against Carson and what you guys did against him? Man, we, just, we knew they were going to come out trying to throw that ball, explosive pass plays. We wanted to make them one-dimensional, let them know that they couldn't throw the ball. I mean, well, they played out how it played out. Uh, you, you guys had a – they really didn't know if you were going to be able to throw, and it was probably some uncertainty in George's mind coming into that given, given the last couple of games. Can you talk a little bit about what you saw in terms of what they were giving you or what they were or kind of trying to take away? They were uh, obviously trying to take away the run game. Uh, and then the pass game, you know, they're, they're going to – Play their their regular coverages, uh, zone match it, man it uh, on certain downs, stuff like that. Uh, so they, regards to the pass game, they they play, played. Uh, I guess you, what you would say is like what we thought they were going to play. Uh, run game, they, you know, they're going to try to load the box, stop the run, uh, quarterback running for sure. Uh, being leaders in this team, going kind of through this, it's been important. So what would you guys message to your teammates going through this? I mean, just keep your head up, keep pushing. Uh, you know, it, everybody says it's nobody's fault, but you know, at, at the end of the day, with me being who I am, I, I can't let you know that that fumble happen towards the end. I got to have six points of pressure on the ball, two hands, no matter what. Uh, I know he made a really good hit, uh, put the helmet to the ball, and popped out, but I, I can't let that happen. I'm, I'm proud of the fight, man. I mean, I mean, I, I don't got too much to say, man. It is what it is. I'm proud of our fight, though. Anything else, Kelly? You guys went toe to toe with you know, a top ten team that's probably going to the playoffs. <clears throat> Have beat top ten teams twice this year already. You just, I know there's no moral victories, but is there some some level of satisfaction that you guys have no. turned the corner a little bit, or no? I mean, you either get it done or you don't. We didn't. This is just how it is. Exactly. Chad, you want to just said you guys are going to let this loss of people you mm -hmm. through the offseason. Can you kind of speak to that and how much this was sort of leader the last few months? No, yeah, I mean, it's, it hurts, man. It's going to be around for a little bit. But then again, I mean, we are, we are going to use it to fuel us, bro. Like, just come out and go harder and harder and harder every single day. We're going to get these boys, bro. Okay.